Good morning to all. Today we are going to discuss about the suboccipital triangle. As you can see in the picture, this is the triangle on either side, which is called as suboccipital triangles. Okay, and you can see here, this is the external occipital protuberance, and this is the superior nuchal line, and this is the inferior nuchal line. And in this picture, you can find out the atlas vertebra, the first vertebra here. And this is the axis vertebra, which is having a bifid spine here. And in the lateral mass of C1 and C2, you can see the frame and transessorium. And the ordered out process, which will articulate with the first vertebra, atlas vertebra. And this is the posterior arch of the atlas vertebra having a tubercle over here. So now coming to the boundaries of the triangle, you can see some muscles here. And the first boundary is supromedially. This is superior and medial boundary. The muscles are formed by two here. This is the rectus capitis posterior major muscle. Okay, the length wise it is larger than this minor muscle. So this is parallel to this one more muscle, the rectus capitis posterior minor. So now coming to the suprolateral boundary, superior oblique capitis. This is the superior oblique capitis. Inferiorly, it is by the inferior oblique capitis. So this is the inferior oblique capitis here. So this all muscles will form the boundary for the suboccipital triangle. So now coming to the roof of the triangle. Medially, it is covered by a semispinalis capitis muscle, laterally by the longissimus capitis here. And the floor is formed by posterior arch of atlas and posterior atlanto occipital membrane. You can see in this picture, this is showing the roof and this is showing the floor and with the contents. Okay, and the roof is having the semispinalis capitis here and splenius capitis here. In the semispinalis capitis, you will find one nerve here, lesser occipital nerve with one artery, that is occipital artery. Okay, you can see the contents of the triangle. You can see a part of the vertebral artery here and a nerve which is going to divide into different branches is going to supply the muscles. So now coming to the contents again, you go, you will get a third part of vertebral artery, the suboccipital nerve that is dorsal ramus of C1, suboccipital venous plexus. So now coming to the vertebral artery, vertebral artery, as we know, it is, this is the subclavian artery. It is coming from the first part of the subclavian artery. It's a branch of the first part of subclavian artery. And his, it has four parts. The first part, the point of origin to the transverse process of the C6 vertebra. And the second part will pass into the transessorium, foramen transessorium of upper six vertebra. The third part, which you can find in the suboccipital triangle. And the fourth part, which will leave the suboccipital triangle and will enter the base of the brain. Now coming to the suboccipital nerve, that is, dose ramus of the C1. You can see here, this is the dose ramus of C1, which is going to divide into small, small branches, is going to supply the muscle over here. Okay, and this is the third part of vertebral artery. And you can see this, this is the inferior oblique capitis muscle, which is the lower border is winding by one thick cutaneous nerve here. This is the thickest cutaneous nerve in our body. This is called as greater occipital nerve. Okay. This is the greater occipital nerve, which is lying the semispinalis capitis over here. And this is the occipital artery. So now coming to the suboccipital venous plexus, suboccipital venous plexus, there is a plexus of veins which is present in the suboccipital triangle. Finally, it will drain into the in, uh, internal vertebral venous plexus. The clinical anatomy, if you talk about the clinical anatomy, cisternal puncture and approach of posterior cranial fossa. Cisternal puncture is by introducing a catheter to withdraw the CSF, okay? And you can approach the posterior cranial fossa through this triangle. By the floor of the triangle, you can reach the posterior cranial fossa. Thank you.